Hello everyone! I'm Mamsi and welcome back to my channel. Sa video nito ay pag-uusapan natin ang addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fraction para sa Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 6. Tara at simulan na natin! Before we start our lesson, let's define first the following terms. Similar fractions. These are fractions with the same denominators. Example, 2 eighths, 5 eighths, 1 eighth, and 6 eighths. And dissimilar fractions. These are fractions with different denominators. Example, 2 fifths, 5 eighths, 4 sixths, and 3 sevenths. Think, think, think. Let's start the lesson with a sample problem. Chester and Alan were running in an oval track. Chester completed 2 8 kilometer and Alan had completed 4 8. Kilometer. How many kilometers they did run together? So, para masolve natin ang problem, let's uh, know first what is asked in the problem, which is the number of kilometers they run together and the given facts which are 2 eighths kilometer for Chester and 4 8 kilometer for Alan. Ngayong alam na natin ang ask at given a problem, let's solve the problem. So, yung given facts natin ay 2 8 at 4 8. Now, decide tayo kung anong operation ang gagamitin. So, it is addition. So, kung inyong mapapansin, 2 eighths at 4 eighths ay similar fractions. So, to add similar fractions, sundin lamang po ang steps na to. First, add the numerators. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. Then, step 2, use the common denominator. Or, just copy the denominator, which is 8. Then, step 3, Reduce the answer to lowest terms if needed. So, ang 6, 8 ba ay nasa lowest term na? Oops! Hindi pa. So, i-reduce natin ito sa kanyang lowest term. Sa previous lesson ay natutunan na natin kung paano mag-reduce ng lowest term. So, counting review tayo. Kunin natin ang greatest common factor or GCF ng numerator na 6 at 8 gamit ang prime factorization. So, therefore, ang GCF ng 6 at 8 ay 2. So, i-divide natin ito sa 2. So, magiging 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Therefore, Ang final answer natin is 3 fourths. Another example for addition of similar fraction is 2 fifth plus 1 fifth. Same steps lang po ang susundin natin. So, add the numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3. Then step 2, use the common the denominator. Or just copy the denominator, which is 5. So, the answer is 3 fifth. Ito ba ay nasa lowest term na? Yes, nasa lowest term na. So, hindi na natin kinakailangan mag-proceed sa step 3. So, the final answer is 3 fifth. 
Napakadali at napakasimple lamang po, di ba? Another sample problem. Sinon needs 7 ninth cardboard for his project. He had 4 ninth of it. How many more cardboard will he need? So ask in the problem is, the number of cardboard Sinon still needed for his project. Given facts, 7 ninth cardboard needed and 4 ninth cardboard already have. Operation to be used is subtraction. Let's solve the problem. 7 9 minus 4 9. So since similar fraction siya, ang steps natin susundin ay katulad lang sa addition. So step 1 is subtract the numerators. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Then step 2, use the common denominator, which is 9. Ngayon, ang 3, 9 ba ay nasa lowest term na o hindi pa? Oh no, hindi pa. So, proceed tayo sa step 3, which is reduce the answer to lowest term if needed. So, para ma-reduce natin sa lowest term ang 3 ninth, katulad po sa ginawa natin kanina, kukunin natin ang GCF ng numerator na 3 at ng denominator na 9. So, ang kanilang GCF ay 3. So, proceed na tayo sa division. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 Divided by 3 is 3. Therefore, 3 ninth reduced to lowest term is 1 third. Another example is 8 twelfth minus 3 twelfth. So, same steps. 8 minus 3 is 5. Then, copy the denominator 12. So, since ang 512 ay nasa lowest term na, hindi na kinakailangan mag-proceed sa step 3. So, 812 minus 312 is 512. Another sample problem to think and to solve. Sophie was reading a fairy tale book. On the first day, she read four-fifth of the pages. On the second day, she read one-tenth pages of the book. So far, how many pages did she read in all? What is asked in the problem? The number of pages Sophia read in all. Given, four-fifth pages on first day and one-tenth pages on second day. Operation Addition. So, let's solve the problem. Isulat natin ang number sentence. 4 fifth plus 1 tenth equals N. Kung inyong mapapansin, magkaiba ang denominator. Kaya ito ay halimbawa ng addition of dissimilar fractions. Sa pag-add ng dissimilar fractions, sundin lamang po ang steps na ito. 1. Find the least common denominator or LCD. Ang pagkuha ng LCD ay parang katulad din ng pagkuha ng LCM or least common multiple. So this time, makukuha or kukunin natin ang LCD sa pamamagitan ng listing method. Isulat na natin ang multiples ng 5 at 10. Ang kanilang least common denominator ay 10. Then, pag nakuha na natin ang LCD, proceed na tayo sa step 2 which is rename the fractions to similar fraction. 
Isulat muna natin ng patayo ang given na 4 fifth plus 1 tenth. Ngayon, since meron na tayong LCD, isulat na natin sa baba as the denominator ang 10 para sa 4 fifth at 1 tenth. Then, ang gagawin natin is magdi-divide tayo. I-divide natin ang denominator na 10 sa 5. So, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Pagkatapos natin ma-divide ang denominator, i-multiply natin ang sagot nito sa numerator. So, 2 times 4 is 8. Ang 4 fifth ay inirim natin sa 8 tenth. Same thing din sa 1 tenth. So, yung denominator ay i-divide natin. So, 10 divided by 10 is 1. Then, multiply tayo. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 tenth inirim natin sa 1 tenth pa rin. Ang bago nating number sentence is 8 tenth plus 1 tenth. Similar fractions na sila ngayon, kaya proceed tayo sa step 3 which is add the new numerators, then copy the denominators. So, 8 plus 1 is 9. Then, copy the denominator 10. Step 4, reduce to lowest term if needed. Ang 9 tenth ba ay nasa lowest term na? Tama! Ito ay nasa lowest term na kaya hindi na natin kinakailangan gawin ang step 4. Therefore, 4 fifth plus 1 tenth renamed to 8 tenth plus 1 tenth. The answer is 9 tenth. And for the last but not the least sample problem, on Valentine's Day, Anne received a chocolate bar. She ate one half of it and gave two eight of it to her brother, John. How much was left with Anne? So ask in the problem, the part of chocolate bar left to Anne, given, one half of chocolate eaten by Anne and two a chocolate given to her brother John. Operation to be used, subtraction. So, one half minus two eight equals N. Kung mapapansin, dissimilar fraction siya. So, narito ang steps on how to subtract the similar fractions. 1. Find the least common denominator or LCD. So, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, so, hanapin natin through listing method, ang LCD ng 2 at ng 8 ay 8. Proceed tayo sa step 2 which is rename the fractions to similar fraction. So, isulat natin ng patayo ang 1 half minus 2 8. Since ang LCD natin ay 8, isulat na natin ito as the new denominator sa 1 half at 2 8. Then, divide tayo. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Ang sagot ay mumultiply natin sa numerator. So, 4 times 1 is 4. 4 ang new numerator natin para sa 1 half. Then, next is 8 divided by 8 is 1. Then, multiply natin ito. 1 times 2 is 2. Therefore, ang ating bagong new number sentence is 4, 8, Minus 2, 8 is equal to blank. Step 3, subtract the new numerators, then copy the denominators. 
So, 4 minus 2 is 2. Then, copy the denominator 8. Step 4, reduce to lowest term if needed. So, ang 2, 8 ba ay nasa lowest term na? Oh no, hindi pa. So, proceed tayo sa step 4. Para mahanap ang lowest term, get the GCF of 2 and 8, which is 2. Then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, 2, 8 or 1 fourth ang ating final answer. Ngayong natapos na natin matalakay isa-isang na steps on how to add or subtract similar and dissimilar fractions, remember, to add similar fractions, add the numerators. Write the sum over the common denominator. Reduce the sum to lowest term if needed. To subtract similar fractions, Subtract the numerators. Write the difference over the common denominator. And reduce the sum to lowest term if needed. In adding or subtracting the similar fractions, find the least common denominator or LCD first. Then, rename them to similar fractions. Add or subtract the similar fractions and reduce the answers to lowest terms if needed. That ends our video for today. Thank you for watching guys and I'm Amzi. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!